Hi, this is Larry Elward, Editorial Director for Superintendent Magazine, and welcome to this podcast. My guest today is Don Spear, Vice President of Turf and Ornamental for Precision Laboratories in Waukegan, Illinois. Don's going to shed some insight on using surfactants and activator adjuvants for snow mold control. But first, a little bit about Don. He began his golf course maintenance career working on the grounds crew at Joliet Country Club in Joliet, Illinois. Don went on to attend the University of Illinois, earning a bachelor's degree in ornamental horticulture with a turf specialty. He later became the golf course superintendent at Kishwaukee Country Club in DeKalb, Illinois, and worked there for four years prior to working as a distributor sales rep and regional sales manager in the turf industry. Don joined Precision Labs in 2003, and he says his favorite part of the job is interacting with customers. Don, welcome. Larry, uh, thank you for the opportunity to be with you today. Well, we're glad you are. Don, how many golf course superintendents realize that they can control snow mold with activator adjuvants and soil surfactants? Larry, that's a, a great question. Um, and, and as you know, tank mix adjuvants are, are widely accepted in agriculture. Uh, typically, it, it's, it's not uh, uncommon to see one or two added into every spray tank. Uh, acceptance of, of activator adjuvant use in, in turf is, is lower, and it's, it's lower due to the fact that uh, golf courses use uh, increased spray volumes, uh, different droplet sizes, and, and lower boom heights to improve coverage. Mm-hmm. So, so to get to your answer, I, I would estimate that, that probably 20 to 30 percent of, of all golf course superintendents treating for snow mold add an activator adjuvant in with their fungicides. Mm-hmm. And, and, and typically the type of adjuvant they would use is, a, is what, what would be commonly known as a sticker. Okay. Uh, relative to soil surfactants, most golf course superintendents um, do not think uh, about using soil surfactants in their snow mold control pro- uh, programs. Mm-hmm. How exactly do activator adjuvants enhance the performance of snow mold fungicides? Yeah, Larry, uh, activator adjuvants uh, can do a number of things to enhance the the performance of fungicides. Uh, They can improve the deposition and adhesion of spray droplets on the leaf blade, Mm -hmm. basically making the uh, fungicide more rain fast, if you will. They can also increase the spread and coverage of the spray droplet across the, the waxy cuticle, and that is specifically important with uh, contact fungicides. And then they can also enhance the movement of systemic fungicides through the waxy cuticle and into the plant. And, and that's important if, if they have chosen a systemic fungicide as part of their snow mold control program. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Now let's uh, let's turn to soil surfactants here. Don, how can superintendents use soil surfactants to control snow mold? This, this is a um, kind of a new category, mm-hmm. and I did some research, uh, you know, before we, we sat down to talk. Some fungicides call for post-application irrigation to get the product into the soil. And, and using soil surfactants in conjunction with fungicides can, can do a couple of things. Uh, number one, they can improve the penetration of the fungicide into the soil. Mm-hmm. A, a great example of this, Larry, is uh, the following statement found on the label of reserve fungicide, which is a, a, a bear product. Uh, the label reads, quote, the use of a, a soil penetrating adjuvant, i.e. A, a soil surfactant, mm-hmm. may improve the movement of the uh, movement into the soil when irrigation after treatment is required for disease control, mm-hmm. end, end quote. Uh, that was interesting to find. That's the first time I've really seen mention of a uh, soil surfactant on a, uh, on a fungicide label. That's something. Uh, that had to and, make you happy. Uh, it, it does. <laughs> it, it's good to see that, the, uh, that this type of science is being recognized and, and recognized as a tool when mm-hmm. it comes to fungicide uh, control of, of snow mold. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Secondly, managing surface moisture going into dormancy and during winter thaws can be an advantage. Uh, in doing a little bit of research, uh, tifula blight uh, is caused by cold tolerant fungi that require snow cover or prolonged periods of cold wet conditions. Uh, and, and so the use of a soil surfactant to move the, the moisture off of the soil surface and into the, um, into the soil during uh, periods of, of winter thaws will create drier conditions and thereby help uh, control tifula blight. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Don, if superintendents decide to adopt one of these strategies for snow mold control, does it change their approach to how and when they make snow mold applications? I, I think uh, if, if, uh, if we're looking at, at uh, timing, many turf professors uh, suggest making two applications of fungicide to control most types of snow mold. Uh, what I found is, is they, they often recommend an early application to, do, to knock down the initial growth of the fungus. Mm -hmm and then to follow with a second application closer to snowfall uh, or, or to putting down winter covers. Uh, specifically, I saw mention of this from University of Wisconsin. Uh, secondly, going back to the concept of, of using soil surfactants, uh, if, if they're going to consider using a soil surfactant in a snow mold program, uh, I would suggest that, that they be applied prior to freeze mm -hmm. uh, and when they can be watered in with the irrigation system before the irrigation system is blown out. Mm -hmm. uh, that molecule will then be in the soil, will continue to reside in the soil, and will give them the benefit of moving water off the soil surface if they have thaws uh, over the course of the winter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Don, very good stuff. I want to thank you for taking the time to uh, talk about this subject. I'm sure superintendents are going to take a lot away from your advice. Well, Larry, thank you very much for the opportunity. I, I appreciate spending a few minutes discussing this timely topic with you. Well, uh, great advice there, Don. This is Larry Elward with Don Spear, and thanks for listening to this podcast.